Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Katie and I love to talk about Jesus, the Bible, homemaking, baking, gardening, and anything creative. Today I wanted to talk about comparison and learning to believe what God's word says about us. I hope you feel encouraged and strengthened. Enjoy. Isn't it strange how we all are made uniquely, yet we all try to be like someone else? We look the way we look, but we want to look different. We think something about us is just not right, and we wish we were different. We want to dress like that girl, and that same girl wants to dress like another girl. Let's stop trying to be like each other, and just be ourselves. But it's easier said than done, right? I think everyone has compared themselves to someone else, so we all know what it feels like to think we are either better or worse than someone, in one way or another. The Bible says in Psalm 139 verse 14 that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. It says, I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. One thing that is very important and also interesting is that the Bible is true. And since the Bible is true, that means that even when we feel opposite to what it says, it's still true. And that's actually great. Let me explain. Even if I feel like I was not made well, the fact is that I am, because that's what God's word says. Your value never changes. So that means that even when we feel like we are not good or don't look good enough, because we wish we were a bit skinnier or weighed a bit more or had a different skin color or a different nose or different teeth, we can look back at Psalm 139 verse 14 and say, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. But of course, we do have to take care of our bodies. We have to eat healthy foods and exercise. But the things that are not in our control, like our literal body type, and the color of your skin, we can't naturally or safely change those things. And for many of us, we feel insecure. I think there are multiple reasons why we might feel insecure about those things. Maybe someone said something unkind to you when you were little and it still replays in your head to this day. Maybe someone who looks the complete opposite of you got the attention you were hoping to get. And there are so many more reasons. But regardless of the reason, we can look at the truth. And what is it? You are made wonderfully. That's not my opinion. That's what God said. And his word means more than what any human being has to say. But not only are we wonderfully made, we are his masterpiece. Ephesians 2 verse 10. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. I mean, really take that in. God thinks you are not a masterpiece, but his masterpiece. He gladly calls you his. He is not embarrassed to associate with you. He proudly proclaims, this wonderful creation is mine. You are not an art project with glue leaking off the sides, with a random strand of hair sticking off made by a six-year-old. And honestly, I think we do all feel that way at one time or another. But we can come back to the facts. We are his wonderfully made masterpiece. And moving away from the looks aspect and more into character, the truth still stands. When Jesus comes into our lives, he makes us a new creation. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, the new has come into being. That doesn't mean we are perfect because we still battle against sin. But it does mean that he is working on us and he doesn't leave us to ourselves to figure it out. He is constantly guiding us and changing us to be more like Jesus. So if you feel like, wow, I'm such a horrible person, I still react badly, or I'm too impatient, what's wrong with me? 
Know that yes, it's not good, but it doesn't stop there. God can and will help you to be more like Christ. Not out of your own will, but through the power of the Holy Spirit. I think one of my favorite scriptures is Philippians 1 verse 6. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. God began the work in you and he is going to finish it. You are not going to finish it. You didn't start it. And that is so comforting to me that it's not all on my shoulders and not all my doing. But of course, we do have a part to play and that would be our obedience. Let's recap real quick. God made you as you are. You have the same value as the girl you are trying to be like. Be you, because that's who God made you to be and that's who you are. You are God's wonderful masterpiece and he will finish the work that he started in you. Lord, I pray that you help us to believe your word and live by it. Help us to know and understand our value and how you see us. Help us to be confident in you and thanks for taking care of our future and covering our past. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you were encouraged by this, especially if you are feeling down. If it did encourage you, please leave me a comment and also share with a friend you think it would encourage too. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.